Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Everton have made their first signing of the season or of the pre season. Jonas Lussel has signed on a free transfer from Huddersfield on a three year deal. Before we get into it, this video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball's app makes it easier to find all the latest scores, stats, and news in one place. To download the OneFootball app, click the link in the description. So, yes, Jonas Lussel. I think that's how you pronounce it. I went onto the Huddersfield YouTube videos to see how they pronounced it, and it was Yanis Lussel. So I'm sticking with that, Lussel. He signed a three-year contract. Uh, he's been at Huddersfield for two seasons. He was on, on loan for the first season and then made the, the deal permanent. Um, he played 72 times with 15 clean sheets. For the Terriers and had two assists in the time. Not saying that says something about the style of play Huddersfield, but uh, yeah, he had two assists at the time. Um, he was signed from Mainz, where he had 27 performances. He signed there in 2016 from uh, Gangamp, where he played 67 appearances. He started his career at FC Midtjylland, where he played 127 times for the Danish side. He also has one cap for Denmark as well. He'll obviously come in as Jordan Pickford's number two. Uh, he's 30, so just about the right age, I'd say, for a number two. Um, we'll have to wait and see whether... Um, Yao Virginia now goes on loan or where he stays at the club but there's a lot of talk that he will go on loan after winning the uh, Premier League 2 and Premier League Cup for the under 23s he probably now needs some first team experience um, so we'll have to wait and see how it affects Martin Stecklenberg as well he's in his last year of his contract for me I'd just let him see out his last year of his contract as the third choice goalkeeper let Yao, Yao Virginia go on loan for a year and then bring him back next season for him to fight it out with Lucille. So, yeah, a sign and fantastic news. There'll be more on this um, in the coming days and weeks. He doesn't officially sign till the 1st of July. That's when his contract runs out at Huddersfield. So uh, he'll be back for pre-season. Uh, but all the formalities and everything is done. Um, Everton have been linked with a move for West Ham left-back Aaron Cresswell. The uh, 29 year old, 30 this year, and really realise he was that old. Apparently, his value is £8 million. Pounds. He's one of those players that always looked like he was going to kick on and be a really good top player, but it never, it never quite happened. Apparently, West Ham now will let him, would be will let, let him, willing to let him go. Um, he is a Merseyside lad. He started with Tramia. So, would he look at this and think, well, that's a good move for me going to the Everton squad? get a you know three or four year contract, probably a three year contract at Everton. Or would he look at it and say, well, I'm not going to play. They've got a great left back, the best left back in the Premier League, Luca Dean. I'm not going to play. I want to play my final years of my career somewhere where I know I'm going to play. But for £8 million, pound, that would seem good value. I'm sure if Everton are in the market for him, that would basically ultimately seal uh, Leighton Baines' fate at the club. Um, we are yet to hear whether he will whether he's got a contract. Um, I think the Premier League have to be notified by tomorrow on the list of players leaving the club. I mean that ultimately doesn't mean he would leave the club because he could always sign a contract after that. It just means that he would become a free agent and could go anywhere he wanted. Then so, and obviously he's in LA. And a lot of people have been speaking about him going to LA Galaxy. So we've been linked with him. Uh, we've also been linked with Danny Welbeck, twenty eight year old. Um, obviously he had an injury that last season for Arsenal I can understand why, stand why we've been linked to him he's the type of player that would fit in with in the way we've been playing second half of the season but for tw a 28 year old who'd want really really good money um, you know being a free transfer I just can't see that happen it's a no starter for me um, so no I, I don't really look at that one and think that one would be suit Everton Football Club but you never know. You never know. Uh, and finally, Yannick Balassi has been talking about his future. He was asked whether he would stay at Anderlecht. He said, you never know. He said he would like to speak to Vincent Company when he comes in. He said he's still currently in Belgium because his kids haven't finished school yet over there. So he's still currently in Belgium, although their season um, has just finished. He played in like the, the, finished the season, the top six, playing like a playoff system, like a league playoff system, uh, where they all play each other. Uh, but 
they weren't successful. He scored six times in his um, in his spell there. Uh, he said he would like to speak to him, but he said ultimately his future is, is will be decided by Everton and what they want and the offer they take. So uh, he said he's enjoyed it. He thanked Romelu Lukaku for suggesting the move to him, uh, but we'll wait and see. As far as I'm concerned, he can go anywhere he wants. If he wants to go to Anderlecht, Everton should just let him go to Anderlecht. Obviously, if they get need to get the money in for him, but he's a player we don't really need. So, there you have it. The last Everton News Daily of the week. We finally got something to talk about. We finally got a signing. Yanis Lucil or jo Jonas. Some people will say it's Jonas Lucil. I'm just going to... What? Lucil. Jonas Lucil. That's how I'm saying it. I'll be corrected. I know I will. But... That's what they said on the Huddersfield video. So, there you have it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments on the signing. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up, please. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Click the bell for the latest. And if you want more videos, join us over on Patreon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.